Hello students. In present video, I am going to explain about 13th problem from triple column cash book topic. Question is available in the description box. Previous videos links are also available in the description box. I am taking this question from Telangana State Telugu Academy Inter First Year Accountancy Test Book. But this video is useful to all commerce students who want to know about triple column cash book topic. Let us start the problem. Prepare triple column cash book from the following transactions. First of February 2019, cash 9350. Cash means cash in hand. In our firm, cash balance. This is an asset. Asset shows a debit balance. Therefore, debit side we should write. First of February 19. For opening balance, we should write two balance brought down in cash column. 9350 next line bank 10000 bank means cash at bank we have a bank account in that account balance is there 10000 so cash balance is also an asset asset shows debit balance so debit side only we should show that in bank column 10000 rupees again you need not to write two balance brought down again you need not to write the date remaining are transactions for transactions, general entries we should think that general entries we should post in proper side. Otherwise, hints we can follow. So I use hints method. As per that, if cash is coming into the firm, debit side cash column we should write. From the firm, if cash is going, credit side cash column. Bank columns. Because of a transaction, your present bank balance is increasing then debit side bank column it comes if present bank balance is decreasing credit side bank column cash sales 2800 rupees cash sales means firm sold goods for cash so from the firm goods are going to customer and the customer is paying cash to us cash is coming therefore debit side fourth date we are selling goods now so you should write to sales account in cash column 2800 rupees seventh day sold furniture and received amount through google pay 6000 rupees always you remember phone pay google pay net banking credit card debit card if these words are given then amount should be in bank columns debit side bank column or credit side bank column reason is all these apps are linked with the bank so when you receive money through this app money will be deposited directly in our bank account when we pay money through these apps then from our bank account money goes so cash doesn't come into the firm cash doesn't go from the firm therefore don't write in cash columns only bank columns so when these words are given to you first you should observe whether it is a receipt or payment. If it is a receipt, then debit side bank column you should write. If it is a payment, credit side bank column you should write. Sold furniture and received amount through Google Pay. So firm is selling furniture. Then cash should come. Means it is a receipt transaction. And how that buyer paid that amount? Through Google Pay. So from his account, directly money will get deposited in our account. So bank balance is increasing. Therefore, David said bank column we should write. Date 7. Sold furniture. Now the doubt is two sales we should write or two furniture we should write. Always you remember if goods are sold, two sales we should write. If any fixed asset is sold, that asset name we should write. Same rule is applicable for purchases also. If goods are purchased by purchases we should write. If any fixed asset is purchased, that asset name we should mention. So here, fixed asset name is furniture now. Write on furniture account. Don't write sales. Amount is deposited in our bank account. Therefore, write down the amount in bank column. Next, cash deposited into bank. This is contra entry. Two times we should write. So cash is going from us. Therefore, credit side cash column. We are depositing money in bank. Bank balance is increasing. Debit side bank column. This is contra. 
So in LF member, write down C. Take tenth. In bank column, we are writing the amount. Therefore, in particular column, write down to cash account. In cash column, we are writing the amount. Write down bank account. Fourteen. Cash withdrawn from bank for personal use. This is not contra. When it will be a contra? This is our firm from bank. If we withdraw money for office use, then from bank cash is coming into the firm. So this is contra because cash is coming and the bank balance is decreasing. Sometimes he gives cash withdrawn from bank. Sometimes he gives cash withdrawn from bank for office use. So both are same. Even though for office use sentence is not given, meaning is cash is withdrawn for office use only for business purpose only. Here he has given that cash withdrawn from bank for personal use. What is the meaning of that? This is firm. This is owner's house from bank. Owner withdrew money for his personal use for domestic purpose. Means cash is not coming into the firm. Cash is going to owner's house. As cash is not coming into the firm, we should not write in debit side cash column. Means what? This is not a contra. Bank balance is decreasing. Therefore, credit side bank column it should come. Date fourteenth. When owner withdraws money for personal use, we should write drawings word. Bank balance is decreasing, so amount in bank column six hundred rupees. Next seventeenth day, check received from Navin five thousand eight hundred, discount allowed two hundred. So Navin has to pay the money to us. Instead of paying money, he is giving check. Actually speaking. Form should go to Navin's bank. Form should present that check, and form should take the money. But daily we receive so many checks to each and every bank we cannot go. So the procedure is we deposit these checks in our bank. Now bank collects that amount, and uh, it, that amount will be deposited in our account. Now the question is when check is coming, when it is sent to bank for collection purpose. On seventeenth day check came, and Twenty third day, Navin's check deposited into bank. So check received on one day and deposited into bank on another day. So on seventeenth day, our assumption is cash is coming. Actually, check is coming from Navin, but we should assume that cash is coming from Navin. Means David said cash column we should write, not in bank column. Seventeenth day, from Navin we are receiving. Therefore, to the Navin account, discount allowed two hundred in cash column five thousand eight hundred. Twenty first day, audit charges one fifty rupees. What do you mean by audit charges? Every firm's accounts are to be audited by one chartered accountant. Auditing means verification of accounts. So after preparing these accounts before the payment of tax. Firm should submit accounts to chartered accountant. Chartered accountant will verify that accounts. If accounts are prepared in genuine manner, he certifies that account. Then only government is going to believe that accounts. To chartered accountant, we pay some fees. That expenditure is known as audit charges. Cash is going from us. Therefore, credit side. Twenty first date by audit charges. In cash column, one fifty rupees. Next, twenty third day, Navin's check deposited into bank. Here also our assumption is cash is deposited into bank because on seventeenth day also we assumed in the same manner. So cash is deposited into bank. Then it becomes contra. Contra entry two times we should write from the firm cash is going means credit said cash column. Amount is not given for this transaction. No need to give because Navin's check amount we know five thousand eight hundred. That amount we should write in bank. We are depositing, so bank balance increases. David said bank column date twenty third. 
In bank column, we are writing the amount. So write down to cash account. In cash column, we are writing the amount. Write down by bank account. Next, 25th date. Received cash from Manasa 3700. Discount allowed 300. Cash is coming. Debit side. 25th date. From Manasa, we are receiving. Write down to Manasa account. In discount column, discount amount. Cash is coming. In cash column, 3700. 27th date. Paid to Maunika through check 1900 rupees in full settlement of her account 2000. Whenever in full settlement is given, there the meaning is indirectly discount is given. Paid to Maunika. So to Maunika, firm has to pay 2000 rupees. In full settlement, firm is giving a check worth 1900 rupees. Means 100 rupees we are not paying. Why? Manasa is giving this discount. So firm is receiving 100 rupees discount. Discount received 100 rupees. And we give check to her. She goes to our bank. She presents the check and she takes money. So our bank balance is decreasing. Therefore credit side bank column 1900 rupees. Discount 100 rupees. To whom we issued this check? Maunika. Buy Maunika account. 27th date. So all transactions posting is completed. Next step, balancing. Discount columns we should not balance. Put the totals. Debit total 500 rupees. Credit total 100 rupees. Cash column and bank column we should balance. So debit total minus credit total. For cash, debit total is 21,650. All these amounts total 21,650. Credit total, these three amounts total 10,150. Difference is 11,500. For cash column, debit total should be more, credit total should be less. Then only our problem is correct. Because debit side we are writing receipts. Credit side we are writing payments. Receipt should be more than payments. 11,500 cash balance, way to write, rule is where the total is less, then we should write. Credit total is less, credit side in cash column 11,500. For this, last date of the month we should write. February, February means last date. If it is a leap year, last date will be 29. If it is an ordinary year, Last date will be 28. Now the question is, 2019 year is a leap year or ordinary year? You know, leap year comes once in four years. How to know whether this 2019 is leap year or ordinary year? Rule is that at year you should divide with four because once in four years leap year comes. If 2019 is exactly divisible with four, Means if points don't come, then the meaning is it is a leap year. If answer comes in points, then the meaning is it is an ordinary year. 4 ones are 4 fives are 20. 1 you cannot divide with 4. So put 1 0 19. 4 fours are 16. In points it is coming. So you need not to continue. Here only we got the answer. 2019 is not exactly divisible with the 4. Therefore, it is an ordinary year. Ordinary year means last date will be 28. So in particular column, by balance carried down. Two sides put the totals. Which amount? Debit total 21,650. Write down here. Credit said also, as we wrote the difference, if you add all these amounts, same total comes. So February month last date, balance carried down K1 credit said. For next month also, we should continue this account. Then we need this balance carried down figure. We should carry forward that amount on opposite side, debit side. Date should be next date of this. 1st March 2019. 
we are bringing balance no therefore write down two balance brought down in cash column 11500 rupees for bank column also do the same debit total minus credit total because debit total is more than credit total in rough notes these two totals we should calculate debit total 26000 credit total 2500 difference 23500 credit total is less credit said we should write 23500 rupees again no need to write balance carried down no need to mention the date because already we have written here two sets totals debit total is more no 26000 on two sets then for next month you have to bring the balance credit side balance carried down came bring that amount on debit side 23500 rupees so this is all about 13th problem from triple column cash book topic hope this video is helpful to you Thank you.